Hello, this video is looking at equilibrium and the move to tipping and tilting. In the last video, we looked at uh, a beam here being supported at both ends, P and Q, and we took moments about each point. And from each of those moments, on the basis that everything was in equilibrium, we calculated the reaction forces, 12.5 um, on the at Q and 37.5 G at P. So that was all nicely in balance. Um, and effectively, we could see that our, four, um, our weight that we're supporting is between the, two pivot, uh, between the two support points, isn't it? Just like you'd see on a bridge. So what happens if I add another uh, weight outside of the, the P and Q? Yeah, so it's not between, it's outside. If I just put it here initially, it would have no effect, would it? Um, because it would be over one of the pivot points. But as I start to move it to the left, at some point it's going to tip over this beam, isn't it? And the question is, at what point is that going to happen? Well, let's use what we were looking at earlier. We took uh, moments about the pivot point here, P. We had a moment here from the blue, going that way, um, from the weight that we're supporting in the clockwise direction, and then we had a moment from the reaction force in the anti-clockwise direction. Yep, if I add another force on, I'm going to get this force here, I'm going to get another moment in the anti-clockwise direction. Yep, so what I'm going to do now is take moments about P, and we'll work that through. So if I do that, and everything's still in balance, everything's still stable, when the moment in the anticlockwise direction, that's the weight that's being supported, is being balanced off by the two, so in the clockwise direction, it's being balanced off by the two anticlockwise moments. Well, one of them's the reaction force, and the other one is our new weight that we've applied. And if we rearrange that, we can see that the reaction force moment there is going to be the weight moment minus the new weight yeah so actually the reaction force is reducing that makes sense doesn't it we put more weight on the left hand end we don't need to support so much on the right hand end and ultimately if we increase this distance more and more the reaction force is going to go to zero so what happens at that point let's just have a look in our diagram well in effect this the force here has gone to zero it's as if this pivot point this support point doesn't exist. What's really happened is that this moment here on the left hand side from this new weight is in balance yeah, that anti-clockwise moment is in balance with this clockwise mo moment from our weight. Yeah, So it's just pivoting around this point now isn't it? It's as if the one on the right doesn't exist. Yeah, So what we're ending up with if we just did our moments around there is well our weight moment, the blue moment the reaction force moment's gone to zero, so in effect, um, effect we've uh, that's zero, and we've got this moment, the pink moment. So they must be balanced if everything's neat and tidy, and therefore our distance we can go out is 2.5 meters. Now, if we go any further than the 2.5 meters, yeah, there's our 2.5 meters. If I go any further, this moment exceeds that moment. And the thing will tip over, won't it? The beam will tip over at that point because we can't hold it at this end. It's just going to tip over. So what we've done is found our critical value, haven't we? The final place where it's still in balance. And in effect, we do that because that value is going to be zero, the reaction force at the right-hand end. So in summary, um, if we've got a body, rigid body in equilibrium, then the clockwise moments balance the anti-clockwise moments. At any point I could take this, I could take it at P, I could take it at Q, I could take it right over there where the W is, yeah? But at the moment that it tips, one of the reaction forces has got to go to zero. In this case it was that one went to zero, but it could be in other cases the left-hand one. And once it gets to zero, like that, it can no longer support it. It's just going to flip off. So that's the key learning point. 